Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to insert checkbox value into our database. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, do follow me on my Instagram page as well. So let's get started with the coding part. So let me open my code. Let's close all these uh, file which has been opened. So now let's go to our registration page. So before that, we come back and tell localhost php index so it's in our login form so let's go to register here in previous video we have done how to store the radio button value into a database so in this video we'll be storing the checkbox value so let's uh, design that input tag dot mb3 and inside this we'll create a label and tell this is for read terms and condition okay this is a label so here we'll create an input tag of type checkbox so input type of checkbox just click on this we are using name so id is not required let's remove id give one name for this we'll give it as accept checkbox Let's reload and check what is happening with the form. Here you can see read terms and condition. You have a checkbox here. User while registering, if he is clicking this, this particular value also has to be stored into our database. So how to do that? We have done with the design part. Let's write code for it. A similar way like the value was stored in a radio button also. Here also we have to give some value that has to be stored. So we are going to tell value is equal to user accepted terms and conditions this is going to be a value whenever particular user is registering when this button is clicked the button is redirected to code.php with the post method and the action is being performed let's click on this register button and enter that value into a database give control f here and paste it you can see register button is performed here let's close this this as well open this and here you can see after gender we have to perform let's give a variable name we are going to tell it as terms and and condition so condition i'm going to make it short and here i'm going to tell dollar post of so this dollar post is coming from the name input name attribute so once this is done we have to pass this inside our insert query term and condition so copy this and here what you're going to do is inside double code pass the variable name which is terms and condition so copy paste now in register query variable we have written the insert query like insert into users table column name this is all the column name and this is the variable name. Let's go back to users table and create this terms and condition column. Go to structure and here you can see after created it. I want after gender. So I am clicking on after gender and hit go. So here paste that or you can type your name as well. And this is going to be varchar and the value. Let's give 181 and save this. Now you can see one column has been created. Let's go register a user and check if this value is getting stored dummy email address dummy at gmail.com password let's give one two three four and five gender we'll select mail read terms and conditions let's click on this register this so it is going to login.php let's reload our database and check whether that value has been stored or not here you can see terms and condition when the regular thing was checked, the value got stored into our database. This is all about how to insert value into database. So I just logged uh, coming back here. We have seen the fetch thing. So here also you can see the dummy data. But here we have not had fetched that in the index page. So let's uh, quickly do that as well. Open the code. It has to be fetched in index. So here you can see after gender. Before that, give the table header after gender. Copy paste and tell terms 
and conditions here we have written query for fetching the data from that particular table give a table data tell terms and condition let's go and reload and check so here you can see once i gave this i just got a column created here and uh, we have got this particular data so let's quickly do for this as well so now if you see for these two does uh, we have not yet given the box In edit page we have not given that let's quickly go do that as well go to register.php we have done this part so let's copy this and go to edit.php after the gender paste this give control a right click and format document so here we have given read terms and condition now click on update button let's go back to code.php and tell update button let us close this open update button here copy paste this copy this paste give a comma paste that and insert class with all the variables now this will get updated as well let's go back click on edit so it is going with id number one and you can see read terms and condition let's click on this and update you can see now hey data updated successfully do it for the second one as well this we have forgotten to select the gender like this and select this as well here you can see yeah, updated successfully so i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching